All right, welcome back to the indoor practice facility. TCI's got your coverage of Tuesday interviews here. Had Coach Venables, Coach Sweeney, number of players. Um, Gavin, I'm going to start with you this week. Let's talk about, we just had Coach Venables. Uh, talk to me about a couple things you heard from Coach V. Well, uh, Coach, Coach V was had some dry humor for us today. Uh, right. <laughs> late in the press conference, he was asked about Van Smith's injury, uh, Van, of of course, with the knee injury, he's he's questionable for Saturday. So, he was asked about Kayvon Wallace, um, how he feels, how Coach V feels about him stepping in to replace, potentially replace uh, Van Smith. And, and Venables' response: "We're we're screwed." <laughs> he was just joking. He was like, "No, no, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine." So that just shows you. It was funny. He he uh, he was having some fun with the question and the media, and uh, that just shows you he's not worried about Kayvon stepping in for Van potentially. He's He's obviously not worried about it if he's cracking jokes. So that was that was one of the things. And and also we learned today that that Jimmy Greenbeans has retired. Uh, uh, <laughs> breaking, I hate to hear that. Breaking news: Jimmy Greenbeans has retired. Uh, <laughs> uh, Coach V, of course, Jimmy Greenbeans, aka Brent Venables, scout team quarterback uh, at Clemson. He's no longer serving as the scout team quarterback. Instead, uh, Jimmy Greenbeans is now the scout team quarterback coach, and the new scout team quarterback is Chase Bryce. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so there's your there's your scout team quarterback update as you know, riveting news ahead of this Auburn game. Um, so there you go, you got you got the scout team quarterback update. But uh, no, Jimmy Greenbeans is is no longer he's just the quarterbacks coach now, no longer the scout team. So, so well, that's pretty a big step up for Chase Bryce taking yeah. Coach Venable's job yeah. there. Yeah, right. I mean, big shoes, big shoes to fill, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. actually a very big headline. Jimmy Greenbeans big headline. Retirement. That's huge. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm on Jimmy Greenbeans. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll for, we started the day off with Coach Sweeney. Um, amazingly, another second week in a row a short press conference. I don't know what's up. Maybe he's heard us. I don't know. You know, maybe he's heard about the pools we've had and stuff. So, that. Coach, I know you're on to us, um, um, but. It was interesting, but it wasn't just that it was short today, Robert, as much as it was Dabo already seemed like he had his game face on, which was interesting to me. Like, you know, I, it, it looks like Dabo's ready. I don't know what the reason is, but I think I, I, think I do. I think and I, why do you think that is? Well, I think, you know, maybe some things that were said during the offseason on the recruiting trail. Um, but I think there's – You can share with our, our members. Yeah, well, in case you don't remember, there was uh, – a situation where a recruit, you know, uh, committed to Clemson, uh, committed to Auburn, and he talked about what Kevin Steele said about one of the reasons was what Kevin Steele said about the Clemson program, and um, you know, they see for all y'all out there that thinks Will doesn't read the recruiting stories, he, he read that one. <laughs> I did read that one, so uh, it, it and it, it just I don't know if that's why Dabo looked the way he did, but he just seemed serious. His answers when somebody asked him a question. He answered them like he always does, but he was very short and to the point with every answer. Not in a rude way, just in a in a direct way, and and just kind of answered it and then moved on. Well, usually Dabo will elaborate. Even when uh, one reporter tried to ask him about you know his relationship back in the day as an Alabama fan going up against Auburn, Dabo would tell that story. And it would take probably the rest of the press conference to tell it, and he was real short on that story as well. He's only like maybe two minutes on that story when normally that's ten minutes. So um, I just think Dabo's very focused. Is so and that was what the story I wrote on TCI today was how Dabo's focused and ready to go. He's got his game face on already, and it's Tuesday now. The key is make sure his players aren't ready to play on Tuesday. That's the whole key. Well, and we talked to a number of players. Uh, they all kind of had their coach speak on today instead of their game face. Uh, didn't get a whole lot out of them. Um, I guess Dorian O'Daniel did say a little bit about the SEC topic that he was asked. He was one of the first players we got today. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, so he was asked about first, you know, the question was, you know, are you excited about playing in the ACC and the SEC? And at first he went the whole, you know, every opponent's important. We don't look at that. And then, then the, it was re-asked, no, no, Do, are you really excited about playing Auburn playing an SEC team do you really get juice for that and he's like oh okay and he's like then he says well yeah because all we hear is everybody riding on the coattails of the SEC and all we've heard was how we escaped Auburn last year and how we really didn't deserve to win that and you know so now he's like we we're kind of motivated they were ready to go out there and play this game and show everybody that last year wasn't a fluke and that's what they're kind of I don't know if that's what Dabo's telling them. I think it is to go out there and prove that winning the national championship wasn't a fluke and that Clemson's going nowhere. And uh, I think that's what Dory in that message kind of relayed that today. He took the first shots, if you will, in this uh, this game. Good. Uh, we got to talk to Tavian Feaster today. Also, C.J. Fuller, both running backs, talked about uh, them 
CJ talked about getting in the end zone for the first time th since 2015. Feaster talked about it was great to be part of the game plan this year. So both those guys liking their opportunities that they're seeing this year with Wayne Gallman moved on. And I think we'll continue to see all four of those running backs unless somebody really provides separation. That's our recap of what we heard here Tuesday. Uh, we'll have much more coverage headed to you all week long as we get ready for the big game against Auburn. Stay tuned to TCI.